what came in the mail. So this is a Ludwig Classic Maple. I got this from Sweetwater. I ordered it, oh man, it came way earlier than they said it was gonna come. Um, they told me like a six to eight week turnaround and it turned out being like three actually. So this thing came way early. Ludwig Classic Maple, uh, custom order, uh, so it wasn't an outfit. I got a 14 by 22 kick drum, uh, eight by 12 rack, 14 by 14 floor tom and a 16 by 16 floor tom in oyster black or black oyster depending on the color which is basically the ringo color so uh enough of my yammering let's get this thing open and see what we got here Holy cow, man, does this thing look nice? Oh, man. Okay, so I got them set up um, in case I didn't mention this in the unboxing video because I actually did that last night and I have a bad memory. So the the size of these drums are, the, the kick drum is a 14 by 22. The rack tom is 8 by 12, 14 by 14 floor tom, 16 by 16 floor tom. And what I do is I have this paired with a uh, Ludwig 50th anniversary Superphonic LM42. LM402, sorry, with a coated emperor head. Now, as I mentioned before, I thought these were going to ship with coated ambassadors. It's originally what I wanted, but I think there was some miscommunication uh, somewhere down the line. So right now, I have the stock Ludwig heads on it. I have done no tuning. This is straight out of the box. So uh, these drums right now sound just like they did right out of the box. And what I'm going to do is I did port the, the kick drum head 
Um, I hate to do that, but sound men whine if you show up to gigs with an unported kick drum head. <laughs> so I did port it because I do plan on taking these out to a gig here in the next couple of weeks. So that's the only modification at all to this drum set um, is that ported kick drum head. And I do have a little bit of foam inside uh, the kick, just kind of just barely touching the batter head. So what I'm going to do is, I have, like I said, I haven't put these through the paces at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of dink around here a little bit with the standard tuning so you can hear what that sounds like. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, I'll pitch them up. So I'll, And I would say these right now are kind of a medium tuning. Um, I will pitch them up to more of a high tuning, and then I will pitch them down to more of a low tuning. Um, the microphones, um, I am using... MXL 603s for the overheads, and MXL 2004 for my room mic, SM57 on the snare drum, and then I have the Audio-Technica MBK5 drum mic set. So that's all the drum microphones. So let's, let's hear what this bad boy sounds like. One thing that's really cool is if you play soft, um, I mean, they, they really sing, but a lot of drums have a tendency to choke out when you really start hitting these hard, and these do not choke out. I mean, they still resonate big and full, no matter how hard you're hitting them. Okay, so I just uh, tuned these up to a real low tuning. I'm actually amazed at how low you can tune these drums and how easy they were to tune up. I, I can tell already the tuning, tuning range of these drums is going to be incredible. Um, all I did was essentially I detuned the both heads and I went a half turn on each side and then just a couple sixteenths of a turn or so around just to get the um, my wife's feeding the dogs up there I went a half turn on each side of each drum and then did like a sixteenth of a turn around the drum and just got a little bit of a buzz out and they tuned up incredibly easy and they're fat and low and sound really freaking good. So let's take a listen.
Okay, last but not least, I have high tuning. Um, first of all, I think these drums could go a lot ho- higher before they start choking out. Um, I'm not up near as high as I think they could go. Um, I, but what I am is I'm about high as I'm as comfortable getting at um, in a closed mic environment because high drums sound really great in a room drum or a room environment. <laughs> They don't actually sound so good with close mics on them, so I didn't want to get past that point. Um, what I did find out is I think I kind of found out how to get these things to sound really good, and I went like one and a half turns on my batter head or on my resonant head with the drums tuned low from the low setting. So I went that one and a half on the re- resonant head, and man, they just sing oh my god they sound good i had to do uh <laughs> i had to change it but um so that's probably what i'll do to get the optimal tuning on these things but uh let's take a listen to these things <laughs> 